Hey guys, it's Jillian. This is going to be a what sold for the first half of February. Um, before I get into anything, I just want to mention that this is going to be my last eBay video on this channel. I do have a new channel, Just Jillian Resells, so I will leave it linked down below. So please feel free to go over there and subscribe. That is where all of my eBay content will be from here on out. If you haven't watched my channel before, I am a new eBay reseller. I resell women's clothing. Um, I sell on Poshmark too. I've been doing it for about six months and this is what I've been selling. I think it's helpful to share what I've sold with you guys just to see what brands are selling. And you know, if you guys have any tips or tricks or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And let's just get into what I've sold so far this month. Okay, the first thing is this rain spooner. Um, extra large reverse print Hawaiian shirt. I picked it up from from my local thrift store. It cost me between one fifty and two dollars, and I sold it for thirty dollars, free shipping. After you take out fees, product cost, shipping, I did make a solid twenty dollars on that deal. So when I do, I do want to mention that I am guesstimating what I'm making right now, but I do use GoDaddy Bookkeeping. So that helps me keep track of exactly what I'm making and spending each month. So I'm not this relaxed about how much I've made. Um, I do know. <laughs> okay. And next is this Ann Taylor uh, women's dress size two. I bought it from my Goodwill. So it cost me $3.29 and it sold for $18 plus shipping. This dress actually sold on eBay in the wee hours of the morning. Um, and then within five minutes later, it sold on Poshmark 2. I had no chance to delete it. I was asleep. I woke up to two sales of the exact same dress. So that was fun. I did cancel the Poshmark order. You know, to me, the eBay positive feedback and, and stuff is more important. Most of my money does come from eBay. So I canceled Poshmark plus the eBay person paid first. So I figured that was fair all around. Um, it wasn't a fun situation, but you know, I like to cross list my items so they have a greater chance of selling and a greater chance of selling faster. Um, I don't cross list everything, just things I know do well on Poshmark too. Um, so yeah, I charged shipping, cost me three, around $3. I probably made 10, 11 bucks off of that. Um, these are new with tag American Eagle overalls. I sold them on Poshmark, yay. Um, I sold another pair of these on eBay um, a couple weeks ago. So overalls are hot. The buyer paid $18 and Poshmark already automatically charges shipping. And I love Poshmark because it shows you exactly what your fee is. Even before you list the item, it tells you how much you're going to make. So I bought these overalls on clearance at Marshall's for $4.50. So I made around $9.90. <laughs> um, so that was a good deal. And um, it's really cool because the person who bought them left me the nice, the most nice, sweetest note um, in the feedback. I, I covered it up because it had some personal stuff in it, but it was just really awesome to know that the item I sold and the way I packaged it made somebody happy, made somebody's day better. And so I really appreciated that awesome feedback and made me feel good about what I'm doing. So that was nice. So this is an Eden and Olivia top from Anthropology. If you hear any weird background noises, it's my pug. He's sitting right next to me. So, but, um, so yeah, it's a button up top from Anthropology. I paid $1.50 for it at my local thrift store, sold it for $14.99. Um, so after shipping fees, product cost, I probably made around $7. So this is a Disney plush. It's dopey from the seven dwarves. It was still new with tags and in really good condition. I think I paid 40 cents for this, um, at my thrift store. It just was not selling. I had it listed forever. <laughs> so I put it on auction and it sold for $2.99 plus shipping. So I got my money back, um, made somebody happy. They gave me really nice feedback, maybe made a couple dollars. So it wasn't a total loss. This is another item that I put up for auction because it just was not moving. It's a cabby shrug hoodie sweater thing. Um, I've had it for months and months and nobody bought it. So I put it on auction for $5.99 and somebody bought it. I purchased it at Goodwill for $3.29. So I barely broke even after fees and everything on that. This is a 90s denim button down maxi dress. Um, I paid $2, I think, $1.50, $2, something like that at my local thrift store. Here is a, a time where I think keywords really helped me. 
because it sold really quickly. It sold for $20 and it had some major defects. And I did list them. I took clear pictures. I explained it very well in the description and the item condition section. There was a small snag and part of it had been dyed pink, like the person had washed it with a red top or something, you know, and there was a missing like rivet that went on the corner of one of the pockets. So nothing drastic, but you know, there were some defects, but still, I think just having vintage 90s clothing is hot right now, so people are buying it even if it is a little uh, worn out. I mean, it's 30 years old. <laughs> so it sold for $20. I did have to ship it um, priority mail in a flat rate padded envelope. So I probably end up making about $10 from that. These are Hollister size nine jean shorts. I'm already selling shorts, people. At my local thrift store for the past two weeks straight, I think. They've been having 75% off of all their shorts, so I have been scooping up all the shorts I possibly can. Um, so I paid either 25 cents or 50 cents for these, something ridiculous like that. And so I sold them for $12.99. So after shipping and fees and my product cost and everything, I probably made around $8. Sorry, my pug is um, snoring, so just ignore that. Um, this is a J. Crew dress. Um, I had it forever. It would not sell. So I took a best offer, I think, for $14 just to get rid of it. So when all is said and done, uh, I probably made more like $6 on that deal. I paid um, $2.50, I think, for it at my thrift store. This is a Soft Surroundings plus size tunic top. I paid either $1.50 or $2 for it at my local thrift store. I listed it a little higher than what other tops like this were going for. Most of them were selling for around 20 or 25, but it was a 3X and there was nothing quite like this pattern up. So I just thought, what the heck, let me throw it for throw it up for 30 and see if somebody will buy it. And if not, I can always lower the price. And it sold within a week. So if it's plus size, if it's a pattern that's a little different, that's that nobody else is offering in that size, you can you can raise the price a little bit. Um, so I made a solid $20 off of that. <laughs> My pug is snoring so loud. <laughs> um, this is a scrub top. It was handmade, but I still felt confident buying it because it was an Easter peanuts theme and scrub tops with a holiday theme or characters on them do better. They sell faster than just plain scrub tops. Um, so I sold it pretty quickly charge $10.99 plus shipping. I've been playing around with adding shipping onto certain items. Um, I probably made $8 off of that. I had another Poshmark sale. These were American Eagle shorts. I paid 50 cents for these. You know, I think I got more on Poshmark than I would have on eBay, so I'm glad they sold on Poshmark first. Um, and then it's showing I sold them for $12. The fees were $2.95. I made $9.05 minus 50 cents. I made $8.55 which is not too shabby because shorts are really easy to list. I had to take like three pictures, four pictures max. Just super easy to list and I, they sold quickly. This is an American rag top. I think I paid $2 for this at my thrift store. It, did, it just wasn't, I shouldn't have bought it. it. It didn't have a really good comp, so it didn't sell for very much. Um, so I probably made $5 off of that. So these are new with tags, New York and Company velour pants. I ordered these for my grandmother for Christmas like two years ago or something and I think they sent me a duplicate order either that or they sent me the wrong size and then when they sent me the correct size they told me I didn't have to send the other ones back or something weird like that. So I ended up with an extra pair of pants that I did not pay for and I don't know why I held on to them. I wasn't a reseller then but when I was going through my stuff I was like hey I'm gonna throw these on eBay and sell them. Why not? So they sold for $15.99. I had to ship them priority mail flat rate envelope. So since they were free, there's no product cost. So it's just shipping and fees. So I think I made around um, $8, not too shabby. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about this sale. This was a bikini I found at my thrift store for $1.50. It looked interesting. It was teeny tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. You can't tell, you can't appreciate how small this top is from this photo. I mean, it. It barely covers up your business. Let's just put it that way. Um, and it looked interesting to me. The tag look in, looked interesting. So I looked it up and sure enough, comps were awesome. Um, I took a best offer of $40 for this. And looking back, I think I could have gotten more. 
but since it was used and I just couldn't believe it was worth that much, I kind of lowballed it. But I'm, I'm not complaining at all because it sold within an hour, within an hour. <laughs> so keep your eyes out for Wicked Weasel bikinis. They sell fast. Well, at least mine did. So after shipping fees, product costs, I made a solid $30 from that. And here are some bowling shoes. Um, my boyfriend and I go bowling, we're on a league and someone gave these to him, but they didn't quite fit. So he had just been holding on to them. And I was like, hey, if they don't fit you, just let me throw them on eBay, let me sell them. So he's like, okay. So I put them up for $15.99. I charged shipping. I had to do priority mail by weight. So I count this as all profit after the fee. So I probably made 12 or $13 off of that. And that is it for my sales for the first half of February. I think I'm doing pretty good. I wish there were more sales, but some of the sales I had were pretty good and um, you know, I'm not complaining at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave me any tips, tricks, comments, ask me any questions you want. I'll be happy to answer them. And just remember for future eBay content, it is going to be on my other channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.